We are surrounded in the world by rampant immorality. 130,000 babies were aborted today. Sex trafficking, a $58 billion industry worldwide. Some cultures abusing distinctions between male and female, other cultures ignoring distinctions between male and female. Over a billion people live and die in desperate poverty. Though I would like to insulate myself from these statistics, they represent realities. James says, if there's no mercy in your life toward the orphan and the widow, if you're living according to the ways of this world, and if you don't have a tight rein on your tongue, your religion is a sham. It's worthless. We must speak clearly and biblically and boldly on these things. A global, God-exalting, passionate idealism is exactly what is needed in the church of Christ today. You can't know this king and be silent about this king. We're compelled to live out our faith in him, to apply our convictions from him in every facet of our life. It may cost us at work. It may cost us in our community. It may cost us according to the government. But we obey Christ regardless of what it costs because we fear God more than we fear men. Let's live differently in the world around us. Let's turn things upside down because we want His gospel to spread to the nation. We want His glory more than we want life itself.